Hi everyone, this is Kat speaking and today we're gonna learn how to make some music using some old floppy drive laying around. And by the same time I want to introduce you to my dog, Gira. So probably we need to do some extra work to remove this floppy drive as well. But first let's listen to this random horse. We need as well one Arduino, some DIY cables, alright guys, here we need some organization, we need this because we don't need it, and obviously we will need a power supply. Basically what we need to do the power supply is to short the pins which is green and the black which are next to each other over here. I will show you in more detail in the picture. What I did is that I have a bunch of power supply laying around and I cut off this part over here. I'm gonna connect them here to give power from this power supply to the floppy drive. First thing to do after this, okay? is to eat some biscuits, after washing your hand of course and then continue walking we got the cable for the power supply but before we put it in we need just to short it and as we said the green and the black and now we put the power And yeah, it works. I don't know if you can see it over here. Well, first thing I will do right here, I will just try to connect only one to start with. I will disconnect the two others. Okay, just to make sure that I'm doing it right because this is the first time as I'm shooting this video. So, the first thing I will do here I will come to this ID pins and I will connect a small jumper and pin 12 so which means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 it should be here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 So, basically what you need to do here is to connect the pin 11 and 12 together for the drive select, which means it will activate the drive. You know that the drive is activated once you see one, the light in the front. Okay? Once you do that, you take one cable from the ground, which is the second line from down. Okay? All this is ground down and up is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect? So, Take one ground and connect it to the Arduino, to the ground, okay, which is GND. It could be anywhere in the Arduino, it doesn't matter. Okay? Once you connect one ground here, as long these three drivers are connected from the same power supply, it doesn't matter. You don't need to put another ground over here. So, what you need is to find the pin 18 and 20. Okay? In my case, I already plugged them in here. I will start with the one in the middle. Okay, I will start from this drive. So, as I said, always connect the pin 18 to any ampere number, which could be 5, 7, 9, 11, whatever. Okay, I will take any random one, which is number 5 in this case. Okay, 
this is the pin 18, went to number 5. Now, if you want to connect the pin 20, you cannot put it in number 6 or anything like that. Okay, what you need to do is to connect the pin 20 to number 4 here. Okay? Or you can also do as everybody do. Okay, which is always they tell you to connect the pin 18 to number 3 okay and the pin 20 to number 2 but really doesn't matter because in this program which is Mopi I already uploaded it to the Arduino you can use up to 8 drive which means that doesn't matter which uh, which uh, connection you choose it will always play music and I will show you this in a while okay I'm gonna randomly choose a number here so we have here the pin 18 and as I said the pin 18 always go to ampere number in this case it will be 11 okay and the pin 20 will go to a pair number okay which will be 10 always down of it not up okay and we have the last drive to connect which is this one okay I have the cable but before I connect it I want to show you something I hope that you see it clear here in the camera okay so basically, what these two cables do, uh, the Arduino, once you connect it to it, it sends pulses, okay? The first one will tell the Arduino to, uh, the Arduino, the first one will tell the drive to turn, and the second one will tell him which direction, left or right, which in this case, it will move, mo it will move forward or backward. In this case, it will move forward and backward. Okay, so... So the pin 18, I will take it to number 7 here, perhaps. And the pin 20, it will go, obviously, to number 6. Okay, so I have 4 and 5 free, 8 and 9 free, 12 and 13 free, and I can use them if I want, but it will serve them the same purpose. So... I'm gonna just try to connect it to COM8 to the Arduino and play this music. So, in here I will show you something important. Now we're gonna take the pin 20, in this case. Okay, which give, obviously, the order to the stepper motor to turn. Okay, and once I touch, it move. Probably you don't see it clear there. I'll try to be more clear. Hold on a second. You see here, when I touch it, it's moving. So I'm gonna put it back and play another song for you. Let's see what we play now. Okay, I'm gonna play right now the Phantom of Flopera. Let's see how it turned on. Thank you. 